One of the first things that I became known for it and was probably the first works that I did that were mature, I would say, and those are my houses at night. But one of the things that I always am looking for is not the totally lit up house. It's really sometimes the house that has just one light on, like this one. And there's something about that that I find to be much more interesting than a fully occupied place is because it's just sort of like it's quieted down a little bit and I don't know there's something calming about that in some manner. I always gravitate towards some place that really kind of looks like home. Oftentimes what you're photographing isn't the subject of your photograph it's just a vehicle to get people to think about the subject that you're interested in. They're really not about houses, they're about people. The thing I like about photography is that photography can't talk. That's something that uh, I think is really special about it. And Lewis Baltz would say this, and I've never forgot it. Photography is a profound corner that sits in between literature and film. And I love the challenge of, of working with that corner. I've never had the urge to make a movie, you know, and I definitely can't write. Photography is the thing I use to express myself or to figure myself out. It's very much led by intuition, just sort of piecing together stories about people, and, 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 it's, and it's largely narrative driven. I've always collected pictures and Sometimes you find these pictures that fell out of somebody's family album and are in a box at a thrift store. They're just these kind of untethered images. They're awaiting the somebody to scoop it up and recontextualize it and, and to put it into some other place. You know, sometimes I don't find the things I want, so I make them to create something that's, um, that looks like an amateur took it, you know, like 50 years ago. that idea of making things that I found, you know, I'm able to sort of like mess with time, to be able to, um, you know, make something that uh, becomes this little cog in this narrative wheel, you know, that looks like it's a, it's a flashback or a memory. That's something that I'm really very interested in right now. There was one particular day I had made a photograph. I stopped at a, a stop sign. There was snow on my, my roof of the car still, and all of it slid down over my windshield. And it made this beautiful, like, wet streaking pattern on there. And I remember, like, noticing immediately how beautiful it was. You know, there's something about shooting through a window with water on it. It absolutely changes the light in the picture. There's clear spots, and there are fuzzy spots. And isn't that interesting that it's just like our memory? I'm a portrait photographer. I'm a night photographer. I'm a landscape photographer. You know, I collect found photographs. And the reason that I do all these different things is that they're all components that I'm able to pull together and use as storytelling elements to basically make these paper movies. Every book that I've ever done, I've sequenced the order of the pictures because that's what makes my work what my work is. People can never really quite learn what I do by just the simple description of it. You know, so I always have to show them that they really, I really want them to know who I am. There's a connection that happens between people and pictures. Communication occurs, you know, and, and that's like really kind of a wonderful thing.